I am Andona Patrick, lecturer under the heavy equipment department or section, and this is the hydraulic lab. So this is the lab where we have equipment, where we demonstrate to our learners, both full-time or those coming for short courses. For full-time, this is taught in the first year of all heavy equipment engineering programs. For part-time or short courses, these are done in a weekly basis. So after demonstrations, breaking the component, we now come here to demonstrate the operation or to test. This is a test rig for testing the cylinder. After servicing the cylinder, you need to know whether the cylinder can work, can hold pressure, or can leak. Then at the same time, this is our valve, standard valve, and this is now our motor. Because this entire test rig is for testing actuators. And under actuators, we have got the linear actuator, which is the cylinder, or the rotary actuator, which is an hydraulic motor. Where do we find hydraulic motors? An hydraulic motor is found in machines that are hydrostatic drives. Example is an excavator. An excavator doesn't have a propeller shaft. An excavator doesn't have a, a, a diff. An excavator doesn't have an axle. It uses motors attached directly to the sprocket. Now, those motors attached to the sprocket have got this design. They are designed in this format. Okay? Then again, for the excavator to rotate clockwise and anticlockwise, it uses a rotor unit, a swing motor, which is designed in this design. The crane has got a winch. It, is, it also uses a motor designed in this format. Sizes differ. We show the students the construction and how it operates, the internal parts. After that, we bring it for testing. Now, what we have done here, we have put one for testing and another one for stripping. So, for testing now, you test the operation. Because if you have to be sure that you have repaired an equipment, this should be able to function the way it will work in the, in the, on the machine. So we come to show the students how it works, okay? So let me just demonstrate how it works on the, on the equipment. So we have got the control valve here. We have the leakage. This is just for leakage, case leakage. Then we have got A and B. Okay, A and B. So the A is for clockwise, the B for anti-clockwise, and this here, they are just gauges just to show us at what pressure is our motor starts to rotate. Okay, both and the drain line. Now, since this one has got no load, it is just rotating freely. The pressure might not be much, but at least you'll be able to understand. So, I'll start by actuating. So, this one I've actuated, it is actuating and clockwise, which is the B. And my gauge here is showing me that it is operating. Okay, operating at about uh, 66 bars of rotation. Then the drain line is about uh, 20, about 18 for the drain line. So, if this one is 40, it will not rotate. But as it is, it is rotating, meaning that even when I take it on my, my machine, it will be able to rotate. Okay? Now it is the other line now. It is also able to, to rotate and almost the same pressure, meaning that it is free on both sides. Same pressure, same pressure this side, Okay, and same pressure this side. Okay, and the drain line is also draining correct using the same pressure, meaning I don't have an obstruction even in the drain line. So with this demonstration, I will be able to confidently declare my students that they have acquired knowledge at college level. Because we are working on the actual equipment, 
that they are going to find in an, in, in an industry. And we are testing it like if it is a driver driving. Because if I had powered this one on my excavator, it means the excavator will move forward and will move backwards. And from here, we would be able to tell the students any possible reason why this cannot rotate from the hydraulic point or from the mechanical point. And after doing the work, we teach our students to ensure that we drain our oil from the system to ensure that our standby pressure is relieved from our system so that we, we are safe and we are not going to have any injuries after working. It is very important to ensure that we are draining our pressure. Even here, on our switch, the valve, they are almost uh, off. So, this is all that we do on this one, on the uh, test rig for our uh, hydraulic motor. Thank you very much.